Hello guys, thanks for joining this session. In this session, we are going to look into elastic block storage. So let's jump into the discussion. So in the last session, we have discussed about elastic cloud compute. So in this session, we are going to discuss about elastic block storage. So the topics which we are going to cover is the EVS, EVS volume snapshot. And we can also look into that, how to do it this thing with the AWS management console. But prior to going into in depth of EVS, so I wanted to show you one diagram so that you can understand the different type of storage within AWS. So let's jump into the diagram. So in this diagram, you are finding that there are variety of or say different type of storage within AWS like Amazon EBS that is a stands for elastic block storage type. Then there is something called S3. Then we have something called Instance Store. And then we have Amazon EFS, Elastic File System. So I have kept in-depth session for Amazon S3 along with Amazon EFS. So in this session, we are going to discuss about Amazon EBS and the snapshots. And we will discuss about the Instance Store as well. So now if you closely look into this diagram, then you will find that the instance or say EC2 instance is being connected with variety of different kind of storage devices or say storage types like EBS, SD, EFS. But their usage pattern is little different that we will discuss in detail. So basically Amazon EC2 provide you with flexible, cost effective and easy to use data storage options for your instances like Amazon EFS, Amazon EBS, Amazon S3 and instance store so all these options has a unique combination of performance and durability and these options for storage can be used as per our need so let's discuss about one by one so we will look into amazon efs amazon efs provides a scalable file storage for use with amazon ec2 you can create an EFS file system and configure your EC2 instance to mount the file system. You can use an EFS file system as a common data source for workloads and application running on multiple instances. Now let's understand about instance store. Instance store mainly provides temporary block level storage for instances. The point which I am going to discuss now regarding the instance store that is very important point so you should remember that and the point is the data on an instance store volume persists only during the life of the associated instance. So that means the moment you stop or terminate an instance, EC2 instance, any data that is stored on instance store volume is lost. So this is very 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 important point. There is another type of storage that is S3 that stands for simple storage service. So basically AWS S3 provides access to reliable and inexpensive data storage infrastructure. Guys we have detailed discussion about Amazon S3 in the upcoming session of this course. So these are the some of the important points about the AWS S3 bucket. S3 bucket is mainly designed to make web scale computing easier by enabling you to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from within Amazon EC2 or anywhere on the web. So basically S3 is mainly used for taking the backup and keeping it there. For example, if we are taking the backup for EBS, then we are keeping it S3 bucket. So if you look into diagram here, it is representing the same thing. So here they are taking the backup. Snapshot is nothing but a backup of EVS volume and that is being kept at Amazon S3. And where it is kept, it is kept into a bucket. So when we will discuss about Amazon S3, then you will come to know about what is this bucket is. So now let's discuss about the elastic block storage that is EBS. Elastic block storage provides block level storage volumes for use with EC2 instance. So basically EVS volume behave like raw unformatted block devices. You can mount EVS volumes as devices on your instances. You can mount multiple volumes on the same instances. But the condition over here is only a single volume can be attached to EC2 instance at a time. One of the major feature of EVS volume is that it is highly available and reliable storage 
volume that can be attached to any running instances that is in the same availability zone. So you must be asking that what is the benefit of using EBS volumes compared to instance store. So as I already mentioned in the earlier discussion in the same session about the instance store, the life cycle of or say the life span of instance store is associated with the life cycle of EC2 instance. The moment EC2 instance got terminated, instance stores get deleted. So to overcome this challenge, EBS comes for rescue. The major benefit of EBS instance, EBS volume is that it is independent of EC2 instance. If anyhow EC2 instance got terminated, EBS volume can remain. That means it is independent of EC2 life cycle. And Amazon also recommend to use EBS when you want to access the data quickly and you have a requirement to process the data on a longer term. So in short, we can say that EBS volumes are particularly well suited for use as the primary storage for file systems, databases, or any applications that require fine granular updates and access to unformatted block level storage. So now we have discussed about EBS volumes. Let's have some discussion about EBS snapshots. So what does this snapshot means? So snapshot is nothing but a backup of EBS volumes and the snapshots are incremental backups. So what does it mean? It means that only the block on the device that have changed after your most recent snapshots are saved. So such feature really minimize the, the time required to create the snapshot and save on storage cost by not duplicating the data. So on a theory aspect, these are the things which I wanted to discuss with you in this session. In our next session, we will do the lab. In the lab session, we will create an EC2 instance and we will stop the instance and then we will detach the EVS volume root volume and we will take the snapshot. So this is the exercise we are going to perform in our lab. So see you in the lab session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.